on fire for this truth or be cold, man. Be, you gonna be a nigga, just go all that, man. That's why, you know, these two-third niggas, man. I mean, they really out there, man. <laughs> these niggas are out there now, oh, man. God. They doing some of every goddamn thing, man. But, the, you know, the most I have more respect for them than a nigga that talk about, yeah, I love the Lord, and then you you secretly being wicked. Man, look, just go out, be an all out 100% nigga. Con. If you ain't gonna come into this truth. Be a straight up nigga. You ain't deceiving the Lord. Even if you could deceive us, you not, the Lord knows thy works. Go ahead, brother. I got a precept about this too. All right, Revelations 3 and 16. So then, because thou art lukewarm. Lukewarm mean you riding the fence. You that in-between nigga. Out there in no man's land. You better choose a side, man. So you, 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 uh, holy rolling Bible thumpers. That, that, that attend these harlot houses. And they think you saved by the blood. Uh, most I gonna spill your blood, nigga. Go ahead, brother. So then, because thou art lukewarm, that's right, and neither cold nor hot, I will spill thee out of my mouth. So the you 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 fronters and fakers gonna be spewed out, man. You see, you know certain brothers that's falling out because they was wishy washy in this truth. You gonna see more niggas fall out. I said, brothers, but if a, if a nigga fall out, that's just a nigga. Yep. You gonna see more of that. What's your precept you had, brother? Uh, this is 1 John uh, 2 and 4. He that said, I know him, and keeping not his commandments. Well, I'm gonna start at 3. 2 and 3. And, he, and hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. He that said, I know him, and keeping not his commandments is a liar. And the truth is not in him. Read that again. Right? First John 2 and 3. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. That's right. He that said, I know him, and keeping not his commandments is a liar. And the truth is not in him. Yeah, it's beautiful. So yeah, you don't know the Lord if you ain't keeping his commandments. So that go to you, uh, that go to you, you, uh, you Harlot House attendees. You holy rollers think you you know the Lord, man. And then even even Esau man brought up a good point. <laughs> I gotta give it to Esau on this. He said, you know, that ain't the uh, that ain't the point. You know whether you know the Lord. The real measure is do the Lord know you. Because a lot of y'all going to be them same niggas that say, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in our name? And the Lord going to say, I never knew you. So, yeah, man. It's the time, man. It's the time. Because, hey, that, that door is, is, is quickly closing. That door is quickly closed. I want to go back to that. Oh, did you find that? Joshua 24. Yeah, yeah what's verse? What is it? 16. 15. Yeah, I was close. Yes, yeah, bring that out, brother, because, yeah. And then, and then these niggas in the church will bring that out and say, yeah, we got, we got free will. See, you can choose whether you want to be evil or be righteous. No, that ain't, that ain't free will. Read it, brother. <laughs> This is Joshua 24 and 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Most High. Right. If it seem evil unto you to serve the Most High, like the Lord say, I would that you were cold or hot, man. He can't stand a lukewarm nigga. Pick a side. Get in the fight. Get in the battle, man. And that's why, you know, that man, Babylon got you niggas. You church niggas are the worst, man. Y'all won't do a goddamn thing, man. Except go to the church and sing and dance and shout hallelujah. Then you go home and be wicked. But y'all ain't doing shit as far as, as even, you know, 
certain wickedness that you see, man. You want to address it, y'all don't want to rebuke nobody, y'all don't do shit. Y'all want to call y'all the worst against this homosexuality. Y'all want to say shit against the faggot. That's why y'all the fucking worst. Take a stand on something, man, and then if it's evil to you, read it. Um, Joshua 24 and 15. And if it seem, and if it seem evil unto you to serve the Most High, that's right. Choose you this day whom you will serve. Then choose you this day whom you will serve. You want to serve Amin Ra? Go ahead, man. Go ahead, man. Most High got his elect. And Satan shall not pluck any out of Yahweh Shai's hand that the Most High God set up. Nigga want to serve Buddha? Go right ahead. A lot of you niggas, y'all just want to serve yourselves, man. Huh. I'm going I'm to I'm activate that God within, yo. <laughs> and I'm going I'm to be the original man. Huh. Hey, man, all that fucking bullshit, go ahead. Worship yourself, nigga. <laughs> See, you got you to gotta activate that God within. See, we all we all are Christ. We are, you waiting for a man, and you you got to deliver yourself. No, get that. Go to Deuteronomy 28. Go ahead, brother. You ain't going ain't no man going to buy you. So, ain't you a man? And you damn sure not going to deliver yourself. Huh. Go ahead, brother. Whether the, the mo say whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood are the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Most High. That's right. As for me and my house, man, I'm serving you. How I buy, show me how I shy, and fuck the rest of y'all, man. Right. You want to serve these other gods? You want to serve Chesare? You want to serve whoever? Uh, Allah, Buddha, Krishna, whoever? Serve them. I'm serving you. How about show me how shot, man? Y'all want to serve? You want to worship Obama? Whoever, man. Your daddy Esau? Go right ahead. As for me and my house, I'm serving Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Kyle Halal, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, and fuck y'all. Bring that out, brother. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. That's right. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Egypt again with ships, man. The Lord gonna bring us into bondage. On ships, man. On them cargo slave ships. And most I had that fucking white man pack us in like sardines, man. To make sure it was it was miserable. Cause that's the judgment of the most high. So the most high man, he got us good, man. We wanna we want to goddamn do our own thing. That's what I'm telling you niggas, man. Y'all want y'all want to do y'all own thing? Y'all want to still do your own thing after the most I jacked you up like this? And you still won't have the nerve to worship these other gods and, and get into Egyptology and get into all this other this black conscious bullshit? Go right ahead. Go right ahead, man. I guess 400 years of slavery didn't teach you shit. I guess it didn't teach you niggas a goddamn thing. Cause here it is, y'all still fronting on you how we buy some y'all was shot. Like he ain't did nothing for you. Like he ain't jacked you up. Like he won't jack you up again. Man, the, 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 the man, the, the God we serve is an awesome power. And he's terrible in his doings. And y'all still wish to play. Y'all won't play with a man like that, huh? Read it, brother. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. Right, well now we sold to our enemies, man. They're not them funky ass Hamites and them Arabs round us up out of the west, co west coast of, and the interiors of Africa and sell us to our enemy, the so-called fucking white man. It's not that, did not that happen in history. It's not that documented in history. But then you say, oh, white man wrote that book. That was written before the before it even happened. That's called prophecy. So 
show me any other book that contained accurate and true prophecy. Go ahead, brother, read it, man. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. Right, we were sold to the white man, our enemy. There's something else you niggas got to get through your head. The white, the so-called white man is your enemy. We were sold to him for bond men and bond women. We we still in his hands. Your birth certificate is your certificate of bond, bondmanship. That's your that's that's the proof that you are the the property of the so-called white man. We are still found in this devil hand today. Uh, your your birth certificate that's your that's your. Uh, Certificate of bond, a bondmanship, and, and your uh, social security card. So we are still born men and born women. Go ahead, brother. <clears throat> and no man shall buy you. Yeah, no man shall buy you, meaning no man shall redeem you. No man gonna, gonna save your black ass. That is a, you know, no flesh and blood man. Because our Savior, Yahweh Shai, he's coming back. He's not going to meet these devils as a man. He's coming back on them in the, in, in the clouds, like the scripture says. He's coming back in the clouds to deliver us. And he's not coming back as a flesh and blood man. He's coming back as an angelic, pissed off force, man. For lack of a better term, the Lord coming back, he, man, words can't describe, man, he coming back pissed the fuck off. Niggas still want to play games, man. Niggas still think this is a joke. Man, when the Lord execute his fury, man, you niggas going to fear and tremble. <coughs> See, that's why we fearing and trembling now, working out our, our, our own salvation. Because we know the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. We, we ain't closing our ears and eyes to, you know, the terror of the Lord. But that's what you two-thirds do, man. Y'all let a nigga lure you to sleep. He get y'all in these churches and let tell y'all that the Lord is a man of all love. And so here it is, you don't have no fear of the Lord. And you're not working out your salvation with fear and trembling because what is it to fear and tremble when it comes to a man that's all love? You know this devil right here? Let me get that devil, man. He let you be a faggot. This man let you be an adulterer. He let you be a homosexual. He let you be a, a perverted freak. Idolater. Yeah, idolater. Adulterer, pedophile, all that madness, man. So what is there to fear and tremble about? But when you know this, what you got? Oh. Hey, I got something in uh, Jeremiah 2. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, um, go ahead man. Deuteronomy 32. Go ahead, huh? It's Jeremiah 2 and 26. As the thief is ashamed, when, when he is found, so is the house of Israel ashamed. They, their kings, their princes, their priests, and their prophets, saying to a stock, Thou art my father, and to a stone, Thou hast brought me forth. For they have turned their back unto me, and, and not their face. But in, but in the time of their trouble, they will say, Arise and save us. But where are thy gods that thou hast made thee? Let them arise, if they can save thee, in the time of thy trouble. For according to the number of thy cities are thy gods, O Judah. Go ahead, brother. You got to speak on No, just like your brother was saying, you're going to be calling those gods to come save you, but they're not going to come. Oh, man. Hey, that's what I'm finna go into. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Go through it one more time. Okay. Jeremiah 2 and 26, as the thief is ashamed when he is found, so is the house of Israel ashamed. They, 
There are kings, there are princes, there are priests, and there are prophets, saying to a stock, Thou art my father, and to a stone. Thou hast brought me forth, for they have turned their back unto me, and not their face. Mm -hmm. But in the time of their trouble, they will say, Arise and save us. That's right. They're going to be crying to the, trying to, trying to remember the name that we was out here preaching and publishing. They're going to be trying to remember that name. They're going to be trying to call Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Right when, that, right when Jacob's trouble break out. And they going through that hell. You know? You see? You see? They got other important things to do. This ain't important to the two-thirds of our people, man. What we out here doing is not important at all. But when calamity break loose, they gonna be trying to call God, Jesus, any name they can think of, they gonna be calling. You know? Right. A child higher. You, all that, man. They're gonna be calling all these names, man. Trying to get out of the fucking clutches of Esau. Man, most high gonna let Esau loose on you niggas, man. Man, it's gonna be, man, it's gonna be beautiful, man, when the fucking devil show you he's the goddamn devil. What you got? 28 verse. 28 verse. But where are thy gods that thou hast made thee? Let right. them arise if they can save thee in the time of thy trouble. For according to the number of thy cities are thy gods, O Judah. That's right. Now go to that, brother. Because this is why we fear and tremble right here, man. We know what Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is, is capable of, man. Deuteronomy 32 and 22. For a fire is kindled in my anger. That's right, man. The fire is kindled in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai's anger. Because you people are stiff-necked. Y'all wicked as all hell, and y'all don't y'all don't care to get right. Y'all don't care about righteousness. Y'all not seeking and searching the old past. Y'all heard the law was done away with. You a goddamn lie. Law ain't never done away with. A, a, a lawless society, that's anarchy. Con. You think the man go to that, man? The most I ain't the author of confusion. 1 Corinthians 14. You think the most high is about anarchy? That's confusion. And that's what y'all even understand, man. The scripture calls America Babylon. Babylon go back to the Hebrew root Babal, which means confusion. So the Most High is not with this place. And this place will be destroyed with a sore destruction. Bring it out, brother. 